Hello everyone, I'm Rior, and welcome back to Good Game Empire. At some point during the summer of 2018, Good Game Empire is supposed to be moved over to HTML5, and the developers will abandon the years-old Adobe Flash standard. Adobe Flash made Good Game Empire possible, and something similar can be said for most other internet browser games. But for most of the past five years, Adobe Flash has been earning a reputation for being a resource-intensive security flaw. Most browsers, and even some websites, now have disabled Flash by default. You might have noticed this when you visited Good Game Empire, and you had to be asked to enable the Flash plugin in the first place. Perhaps the biggest problem with Adobe Flash is that it is owned privately by Adobe. I have nothing against Adobe. In fact, I use many of their programs to make my videos. However, something so ubiquitous on the internet deserves to be open source. Many other applications and plugins are open source, like VLC, OBS, and even, to an extent, Google Chrome. Open source normally works better, and it's a lot more secure. Whenever you encounter lag in the game, there's a good chance that the most recent update to Adobe Flash is what's behind it. Believe it or not, Good Game Empire can run very smoothly on a computer that is configured properly. So, while we wait for the developer to finally make that switch to the faster, more secure, and superior HTML5, let's talk about the various adjustments you can make to perfect your Empire experience. I also wanted to specifically address the world map lag bug that has been a problem for a few weeks. According to the developer, this bug is specific to Adobe Flash version 30, and there's nothing that they can do about it, but they have offered a few solutions on the forum. So let's go ahead and run through these to see which one would work best for you. The solution that I use and most recommend is to download the separate standalone Flash player from the forums. I'll include a link in the description of this video. Once you click on the download button, you will actually be downloading an executable file, which is the application itself. There is no installation process, although your computer might ask you if it's safe to run something that you've downloaded from the internet. Once you hit accept, a white box will open up. To run Good Game Empire, head on over to File, then Open, and then paste in this link. I'll include this link in the video description. Once you've done this before, you can actually go to File, and then all of your recently opened files will show up in this area, so you can click on it and go straight to Empire from here. You'll notice that this standalone Flash player is version 26. Version 30 is full of bugs, 29 wasn't great, 28 was actually okay, 27 sucked, but 26, that's where it's at. In my experience, this solution is pretty easy, and it's very reliable. In fact, if you follow the steps correctly, it's guaranteed to work. One downside of this solution is that you cannot zoom in. Well, you can, but this happens, and you lose access to the user interface. So if your vision isn't great, then maybe you'll need to try something else. One more thing to note is that when you click on the button to go to the payment shop, for example, or if you click on any other button that would normally open another tab in your browser, the Flash player won't be able to handle that, and it will open in whatever browser is your default. Not really a big deal, I just thought maybe some of you would be surprised to get a pop-up like that. If this solution doesn't sound good to you, you might be interested in downloading the Maxathon browser, which runs on an older version of Flash, so you should avoid the most egregious bugs and lag problems. To download Maxathon, just follow the link in the video description and go through the installation process that you would use for really any application. If you hit the advanced button here, you might want to uh, disable the option or uncheck the option to make Maxathon your default browser. When you open Maxathon, it does appear rather cluttered, but it runs the game well, and that's all you can really ask, I guess. Just use Chrome or some other better browser for your regular web surfing. I played Good Game Empire on the Maxathon browser for a few hours just to check to make sure it worked, and I did notice that it was slightly less laggy than playing on Google Chrome. I normally record Good Game Empire uh, on Google Chrome for my videos, so I don't know if you'll be able to notice it here on YouTube, but again, 
I think it's slightly better on Maxathon. Google Chrome is a great browser for a number of reasons, but it's no secret that Google Chrome is resource hungry and won't run very well on a very low-end computer. If you're hell-bent on playing Good Game Empire in Google Chrome, it is possible to improve your experience. The developers have posted a directory solution on the forums. They have instructions, but I think I can explain it to you better, so let's try. To begin, come down to your Start menu and search for the application Notepad. If you're running on a Windows PC, you will have this application. It's there by default. Right-click on the application and run it as an administrator. If you don't do this, you aren't going to be able to save any of the changes you make. You'll save them as a text file and not a configuration file, which will mess the whole thing up. Once again, the application will open as a white box. You need to navigate over to File, and then Open, and then paste in this link from the form, which I will include in the video description down below. Then add these two lines of text directly below the two lines of text that should already be in the file. Press Ctrl S to save, and exit out. Then close your Chrome browser, if you haven't done that already, and open it back up, and you should be good to go. These changes won't help you solve any future lag issues, but they should get rid of the problem that we've been having on the world map. Obviously, if you are not a Windows user, your instructions will be a little bit different, but they have all of that information for you posted on the forums, and again, there will be a link to that in the video description. If none of the previous solutions have worked for you, you can uninstall your current version of Flash and then reinstall a older one. However, this won't work for Chrome because Chrome automatically updates, and quite frankly, this solution isn't all that reliable, so I'm not going to give you the full walkthrough on how to accomplish it. Again, if you need that information, you will find it on the forums. Now let's talk about some of the things that you can do in the game to reduce your lag. Now if you navigate over to the Options menu, you can turn your graphics quality down to low. This doesn't make a huge difference in my experience, but there is a slight improvement and maybe every slight improvement will be worth it to you. For me, when I record the videos, I like to have them in the highest quality possible. What will make a huge difference is disabling your animations. Things like the waving flags or the spinning flower mill really slow down the game. Uncheck this as soon as possible. Also, uncheck the red screen outline whenever you're being attacked. I know that whenever a few incoming horns appear at my castles, the game really slows down, and of course that's not when you want the game to be holding you back. You need all the time you can get to make the necessary changes to set up a proper defense. So once again, leave this option unchecked. Finally, you can also uncheck the uh, world map travel arrows, but I find them really useful, and I imagine you will too, so not a whole lot of players will want to do that. Although, again, it does make a difference. Two more tips for you that hopefully will be obvious. Number one, if you have 20 tabs open and you're playing a flash game in each one of them, then obviously Good Game Empire is not going to run very well. So minimize your internet activities if what you're really doing is playing the game. And also, make sure that your computer doesn't have any malware. If you need a free, very good program to uh, certify that, I recommend Malwarebytes, which once again you can download and install at the link in the description. Malwarebytes is free, at least the part that does the scanning. If you want real-time protection, uh, purchase Malwarebytes Premium. That's what I have. I recommend it. And most importantly, I have not been paid to say that. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of today's video. If you have any tips for reducing lag that I didn't include in this video, please share them in the comment section down below. As always, I've been Brior, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.